welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is anna so if you guys have seen a few of my videos on my crystal corner playlist you guys had saw that on my how i display my crystals as well as my updated crystal collection tour i had this tray of crystals so this tray of crystals if you guys saw my how i display my crystals is actually right by my bedside table so these are actually the crystals that i keep right by my bedside i have seen a few people do this video and i was like hey why not i try this video out and show you guys what i keep by my bedside like you guys have seen my hauls you've seen a lot of the crystals i brought in but what are the exact crystals that i keep right by me when i sleep at night so i decided why not why not show you guys and instead of actually showing you guys the crystal from my hand i'm actually going to focus on the tray and show you guys each of the crystals kind of explain them why i have them so yeah if you guys can't tell I have a ton of crystals by my bedside table but there is a reason for it a lot of them all have different type of meanings and different type of healing properties so there are reasons as to why I have these certain crystals by my bedside table and some of them are just really nice and pretty so I have them there too just because they're really nice um, but the majority of them I do know their meanings there is a reason why they're by my bedside table so let's get started all right guys so here she is here is the tray that i have so in this little bowl right here i have a lot of random little tumbles some mini spheres just a lot of little random knickknacks and then on the side here i have my little mini towers so these towers are nothing huge like these are the biggest ones they're not that big i don't want really big crystals by my bedside table i don't know why i just thought like small little mini towers and things like that would suffice i don't really need like big bulky crystals right by my bedside table because again my bedside table isn't that big so you don't really want crystals taking up your bedside table so i have this little tray where i keep these little mini towers on as well as these little kind of mixed loose stones so let's get started so i can tell you guys what each one is kind of why i have it you know how i came to the conclusion of putting all these crystals together so i guess we'll start row by row and then we'll get into like this little tray of loose stones that i have so the first row we have right here to the left we have a beautiful green adventuring elephant green adventuring in general is just known as a prosperity stone that promotes like wealth happiness things like that and actually an animal with its trunk up specifically an elephant with its trunk up is actually known as good luck so that's why i have this one here this cute little kitten i actually got from one of my co-workers when she went to japan it's actually a lucky kitten or something like that that she said um so i keep that by my bedside table because who doesn't need more luck in their life and then this crystal right here off to the side is a beautiful gray phantom quartz i just absolutely love how this crystal looks it is just a stunning stone let me see if i can show you guys it's kind of really light but if you guys can see you can see the banding in it and that's called the phantom quartz because it just has a ton of phantoms in it so i just really love that so let me i guess put these to the side as i show you them so that's my first row when we get into the second row i will start with these guys these four right here one two three four these are called euphora lights you guys have not seen me do these crystals in hauls because i think i got these before i started doing crystal hauls so euphora lights are actually pretty expensive crystals they are not cheap and they're actually really good for i think it is emf waves or bad waves that give off like radiation and things like that from our technologies right from our cell phones from uh, Wi-Fi towers from our electronics, you know, they actually give off a lot of bad things that are not that great for us So these beautiful euphoria lights actually help to fight that. So this is a beautiful red dragon This is known as a snowball. This is a lapidolite and oh, I have a hard time remembering what this one is It's not snowball, but it is blue I think it's one of the newer euphoria lights that were found and euphoria lights are actually found only in one area I have to find that for you guys. I will kind of link the information and all that up here somewhere so you guys get a bit more information on them but it's basically found in one place hence why they are rare they are more expensive and just the benefits of them and what they provide for you are really good but just be mindful if you ever do get your fora lights and you decide to meditate with them close your wall sockets because apparently they can you know spark either a fire or your wall sockets to stop working so just be prepared, just FYI, if you guys ever work with euphoria lights and meditation, do that outside, do not do that in your house because it can become a problem because they do give off so much high vibrations. 
So that is Euphora Lights. Ooh, if you guys are interested. Ooh, okay, I keep dropping them. Uh, but if you guys are interested, they do give off really good positive energies and vibrations that I would highly, highly recommend for you to get. So then the next item I have are these small little, like these, these little towers are so petite and tiny, but they're so cute. So the first one I have right here, right next to me is Bloodstone. And Bloodstone is actually really good when it comes to any type of diseases or um, illnesses of the blood. It's also really good for high blood pressure. Unfortunately, diabetes, high blood pressure, and you know a lot of different other things run in my family like my family history for health concerns so i definitely want to have this around me just in case you know to help combat some of those issues that i know personally my family has had to deal with health issues and then the next item i have is a sapphire sapphires are pretty pricey they are not cheap sapphire is also my birthstone so i keep that by me i wish it would focus so you guys can really see the beauty of it. Trying to get this to focus is always such a pain in the butt. But yeah, it's a beautiful blue sapphire. So stunning. So expensive, but so stunning. <laughs> and then the next item I have is a yellow jade. Just because jade is a really great stone to have. Another really good luck and kind of prosperity stone to have by you. So I have a yellow jade. As well as my other very, very mini tower is a beautiful smoky quartz. You guys know... I love my smokies, so I had to have a smoky tower by me, and this is super smoky as you can tell. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty smoky. The focus on this video sucks. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, I'm trying here. But yeah, this is a beautiful smoky. I love smokies, smokies are my favorite. It's funny, when I put it down, it's fine. Like it kind of wants to focus, but when I have it in my hands, it never wants to focus, okay. Getting into our next item. <laughs> So then I have blue chalcedony. Blue chalcedony just inspires relaxation, kind of meditation. So I just really love to have this stone by me. It's just more of like a calm stone to have and really just even looking at it just kind of calms you down. I also have a blue lace agate right here, kind of a raw one, just because they're really known for relaxation and calmness. And I'm like, why not? God knows I need that in my life. <laughs> I have a beautiful clear quartz tower because I love my clear quartz. I love my smoky quartz. There's so many great benefits to them. So I had to add a beautiful clear quartz. Then the next time I have is a beautiful chevron amethyst. And you guys can tell it is a chevron amethyst. If you see that beautiful banding on it, how gorgeous is that? Oh, I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. The beautiful banding on that is chevron. How gorgeous is that? Chevron Amethyst is one of my favorite, and I really love that this goes from like a dark to light gradient. I really love that. It's just really pretty. And then I actually have another Amethyst right here as well. And then another absolutely stunning tower that I love is this beautiful fluorite. And I want to really show you guys this because this is really stunning. The colors in it is so intense. There we go. Not intense, but like intense as if you guys look at the banding of this, it is such a beautiful fluorite, like it's really light greens, kind of purple, almost white coloring to it. It is just such a stunning fluorite and you can really see the banding and definition in it. That's what I really love about this fluorite. And it's just, you can't have enough fluorite. Fluorite is really great. It doesn't hold on to any negative energy. So I just really love fluorite and really gravitate towards it. If you guys can't tell, <laughs> I have a ton of fluorite that I get. A ton of hauls that I've done with fluorite. So you guys know fluorite is one of my faves. The next item I have is a beautiful dream amethyst. I also am very attracted to amethyst. Amethyst is one of my favorite stones as well. You can never have enough either, you know, whatever type it is. Chevron, dream, regular amethyst, aura amethyst. It's just so beautiful. And I love, what I really love about dream amethyst is that it has this beautiful kind of gray and white at the bottom. That's what dream amethyst is known for. It has these beautiful gray and white tones in it. Inclusions, I should say, that I really, really love. And then the next item I have is a really saturated but beautiful golden healer. And it's so funny because when I first saw the vendor or seller, I should say, selling this, I didn't even know that this was golden healer because of how intense of a color it is. But how gorgeous. I don't remember the exact benefits of golden healers, but I will list it right here somewhere on the side for you guys so you guys can know the benefits. 
but it is just a great stone and such a beautiful stone to have amongst all the different stones that I have so I really love that and then we are getting down to our last two rows which I'm so excited for because the last two rows are some of my favorites so we'll start right here oh with this beautiful fluorite that I absolutely love. It's this beautiful fluorite that has a variation of almost dark green to this. Do you see this kind of like, I don't even know. This isn't a royal blue. It's not a baby blue, but it's just this very stunning, beautiful blue color that I love. I had this posted in one of my hauls and everyone loved it. And as I mentioned, I am looking for a blue fluorite tower, but this, oof, if I can get a tower that's all full this blue color, I would die so gorgeous so I have that then the next item that I have is a beautiful lipidolite tower now lipidolite is really great for anxiety I have two of these towers I have one that I keep on my bedside table and one that I keep with my collection of towers and I just want to show you guys if this would focus lipidolite has so much flash to it like so much shine not flash Sh shine is the right word not flash that's my bad but it has so much shine to it, but this definitely is not gonna pick it up. But it's just so beautiful and it sparkles all over the place and it's this beautiful kind of lilac and pink color that I absolutely love. And then getting down to almost the last row, the next tower that I have is a beautiful trollite tower. Trollite is a really great protective stone. It's also a really great stone to manifest anything that you're thinking of. So anything that you need help with in the moment or anything like that, trollite is really great for. So of course I have this right by my bedside table because there's so many things that I want to manifest and have ha happen in real life that great stone to have. Really great stone to have, also really great for protection. Right next to it, I have a beautiful Amazonite. It's a very light Amazonite. Amazonite comes in very different tones. You can get very dark ones, very light ones, but this is a beautiful light one. And Amazonite is really great for any type of surgeries, any type of injury, any type of trauma. It helps the healing process. So you have to have Amazonite with you because you just have to because you never know what can happen in life. So it's really great to have a stone with you that aids in healing. My dad actually ended up taking one of these with him when he had his open heart surgery and everything went really well and he's healed very well. So I really love Amazonite. I cannot promote it enough. And the next item we have is a beautiful smoky and ruby tower. I just really like the way it looks. So that's why I keep it with me. I just think it's really pretty. It's just smoky in it, it's gorgeous. So I just really love the way it looks. So I keep that by my bedside table. I also have actually two citrines right here. So I'll show you guys both of them. These are two beautiful citrine pieces. Citrine is also another crystal that's known for kind of prosperity, promotes wealth, promotes more money coming into the household. So you guys know more money coming into the household. I am all for it. So of course I had to have that by me because yeah, we got to promote more money. More money, less problems. <laughs> okay, not really. Don't listen to me. But yeah, citrine is just a really good stone to have. And then I have a beautiful rose quartz tower that I keep by me. So rose quartz is really great. It promotes just happiness and love and all things that just, you know, are healing to the heart. So I really love this. You have to have rose quartz. It's a staple. I have a ton of rose quartz. I absolutely love it. I have a ton of little like tumbled rose quartz in here as well. So I keep that with me as well as I have this beautiful pink tourmaline tower. So if you see the little specks of pink, that's pink tourmaline in it, how gorgeous. And pink tourmaline, same thing. It just, it's really great for the heart and love and just helping healing the heart and things like that. I don't need to heal my heart because my heart is not broken. But if you do have a broken heart, I would highly recommend pink tourmaline and rose quartz. It really promotes happiness, um, positivity, and just really, you know, good vibes for the heart and yeah, I would really recommend it if you guys are dealing with a broken heart. And the next item I have, well, the last tower I have here is a Howlite tower. And Howlite's really great because it helps with the promotion of better sleep. And who doesn't need better sleep? And this is a great stone to have by your bedside table. I would highly, highly recommend Howlite. There's definitely a lot more benefits to it, but the one benefit and one key take that I will take from this is sleep. This really helps with promoting better sleep, better and restful sleep. So. I would highly recommend that. So I have that Howlite. I also have a Howlite tumble as well. Just kind of this little, not tumble, but this little um, thumb stone that I keep here as well. Because again, you can never get enough sleep. And then right here, I have two little selenite pieces. Because selenite helps to cleanse the crystals. And then I'll get into my little tray of things that I have here. 
So here I just have a lot of mixed little random tumbles of things that I've collected over my two years, almost three years of collecting crystals now. So some of them, you guys will probably be able to tell exactly what they are from seeing them. Others you might not, but it's just a lot of random ones that I have by my bedside table, because why not? So this first one right here is a beautiful pink opal tumble. I just love the way pink opal looks in general, so I just have that by my bedside table. I have a few more of them as well. These are all pink opals that I keep by my bedside, just because they're just really beautiful. And again, promote just like happiness and calmness, so... I love pink opal, so I have to keep that by me. These little kind of double terminated that you see and these little points right here, those are actually rose quartz. As well as I have these kind of like raw rose quartz pieces as well in here. I think I have two or three of them. As well as those double terminated that I showed you guys. And then again, I just have, you know what, I might not go through all of this because I don't want to make this a like... 30 minute video or an hour long video but let me, i'll just name off some of the things i have in here so i have a moonstone i have a citrine i have a malachite i have some agate geodes not agate geodes sorry agate spheres because i really love the little druzies they have i have a clear quartz a unikite a sunstone sunstone is also really known as a good luck stone so i keep that by me i have a lapis i have some mukite tumbles in here i have what else do i have right here i have some amber Blue lace agate, a cherite sphere, cherite, cherite. I'll, I'll post it up here. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but I think it's cherite, something like that. And then I have another little howlite tumble that promotes better rest. And yeah, let me see. I have a little tiger's eye right here. I have a bumblebee jasper right here. And then I think that's it. Oh, and then I have a little rotocrosite little egg right here. So yeah, I just have. A lot of little random bits and pieces of things here and there. Those are the majority of what's in here. A lapis. I have a lapis in here. I have a clear quartz right here. So yeah, I just have a little bit of everything here because why not? You know, it's always great to have little things here and there that help promote different things. And as you can see, I have a ton of different crystals that help with a ton of different things. So yeah. Can never go wrong with that the more crystals the better all right guys so that is all i have for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions comments or concern please leave them down in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer and thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye guys